It's um yeah, so let's just practice that so then because it's very tiny, so I'll bring it out and I'll talk you through. Hey guys, follow me. <laughs> my channel thank you so much for clicking on another video in today's video we are finding out <laughs> my body fat composition how much I weigh um, how much muscle I have basically we're gonna find out if I've been catfishing YouTube and Instagram for a while I am very nervous <laughs> to share this with you guys I don't like I weigh myself every now and then but I don't obsess or measure or keep track as much as I should. I'm very comfortable with my current diet, which is meal prepping, plus or minus a few glasses of mulled wine here and there, <laughs> tis the season, and a few too many mince pies. But um, I was contacted by Body Composition Fitness to try out their technology as an athlete, and they basically have offered me this to see how it might benefit my progress and my planning and my goals, and seeing where I am within myself. And I'm very excited to have said yes, I'm going to go down to their office today. I think honesty and transparency is really important. I would like to be honest with myself and know what, where I'm at, you know. If I'm kind of fooling myself thinking that, oh yeah, I'm healthy enough, then I need a reality check and I think this will be a great way to see where I'm at and to know what's going on. If you like this kind of video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment, letting me know, let me know what you guess my body fat will be. Let me know your guess before you find out. Just type it in the comment section and press post so I can see what you think my body fat composition is before I go in for this test. So let me know what percentage body fat you think I am. I will show you my bod now. <laughs> we'll do like a little body update, which I've never done on this channel before and I've never really felt the need to do, but I think it's quite interesting to see, you know, kind of what makes up a certain physique. I guess. But yeah, let me know. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos, share this with a friend, and join me on my website and Instagram for more healthy lifestyle tips. So yeah, this is my bod at the moment. I think that how fit you look is super affected by the angle that you stand at. So for example, if I stand like this, compared to if I stand like this, like there, when I just don't suck it in, I can just look a lot less fit than usual. <laughs> hey guys, follow me. <laughs> the truth is I do have like, I do have fat. I'm not the perfect health eater. I do have bad angles just like everyone else. But in today's video, I will show you kind of like every angle. <laughs> Are you ready? We're about to get very close, you and me. We're about to see not every crevice you'll be pleased to know, but a few more crevices of one's <laughs> so this is me on the day of the weigh-in and um, I thought I never do <laughs> kind of body updates and stuff like other fitness channels do um, but you know this is what I look like um, honestly I'm pretty happy with the way that I look which is has not always been the case, so that is God's grace. I'm pretty happy with the way that I look. I don't really fuss about it that much. Like, I can gain a few pounds, lose a few pounds, but I'm not gonna cry about it. I've kind of accepted as well that I really don't owe anyone beauty. <laughs> like, I just, if someone thinks that my figure is a nice, like, that's fine. There's lots of nice figures in the world, so I'm, it takes, it's taken a long while to be able to say this, and there was a time when I literally would not have been able to say this at all. I'm happy with my body. I'm truly comfortable with the way that I look and the size that I am. So I do have, you know, a bit more of a belly when I don't breathe in, but you know, I can, I'm still kind of muscular underneath that. You can still kind of see my abs. So I mean, I'm in good enough shape. There's not too much to grab. Um, I definitely carry a bit more of my weight on my thighs, I would say. Um, these are my legs. Yeah, nothing too, nothing too exciting. You know, a few rolls here and there, a bit of a belly sometimes when I'm not sucking it in. Or... <laughs> there is a packet of popcorn in that living, there's no popcorn in there anymore. There's an empty bag of popcorn from last night. I ate a 
a whole bag of popcorn the night before my body fat composition because I really wanted to and it's not going to change anything the night before. Um, but in terms of that's how relaxed I am. So I meal prep, I am training, but I'm not on any strict diet at the moment. Like I'm about to settle down to a Christmas Netflix film. I'm going to eat a whole bag of popcorn. But yeah, that's kind of how I've been and it's very enjoyable. <laughs> I enjoy eating healthily. I also enjoy a good few more treats than I probably should. And this is kind of my baseline weight because I am very active at the moment. Um, I think that my metabolism is quite high because I think that I have quite a high muscle proportion to my body. Yeah, going into this, I would say that I'm probably around 23%, 21%, I would think, like on the lower side, but not on extreme athlete side. Okay, that's enough exposure of oneself on the internet. Let's go find out what I made of. You can get all the information of how they do this test in the link below. Yeah, let me know what you think it's going to be and we can go find out. Let's do this. Ugh. Did I just stall over a speed bump on camera? Yeah. Yeah, I did. These speed bumps are brutal. Okay, so I have arrived and I'm super nervous, so I'm just gonna get a parking ticket and go in and find out if I have been catfishing the world. You guys, I'm so nervous for this. I'm so nervous. It's fine. Do you know what's funny? There used to be a time when I would have been terrified to share my weight and fat percentage and everything. And I feel like through exercise and healthy eating I've really just learned to have so much more of a positive relationship with my body and it's fantastic so yeah whatever this says it'll just be a dash of truth maybe even it'll be a little pick-me-up like well done Sarah you're doing well so we will find out <laughs> let's go And NASA, you said it's very, very accurate. So there's so many out there. Oh, I'm so nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's gonna yeah, reveal so, all my secret so, snaps. Uh, no, that's, you know, <laughs> pretty good change, that's fine. Let's get so, to here so you can get your height. It's probably gonna. So you're 159. Oh, I thought it was 161. Oh, right, okay. That's <laughs> your head. <laughs> <laughs> I should have had curly hair for uh, this. Yeah. I've got kind of like shorts and a crop top on, so it looks like wear light clothing. Yeah, 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 yeah yes, please. Yeah, and no, then that's, that's more accurate. The lotion, because my skin is very dry right now. Yeah, yeah. That, <laughs> How does that affect it? Again, it's, it is again the guidance that we get from our yeah. body, so it's, it's fine as long as, you know, it, it, it's. Because I've kind of used, you know those standalone scales that people have? Mm. I've used those before and I found that the measurements seemed very inaccurate to me. Mm. So how does this one, how is this, this one more this, accurate? Yeah, so this one, like I said, they've been, I mean, 40 years in the making really mm. and refining and tuning it. And they have done independent tests for universities and so on. Mm. And, and uh, basically they said they can get it up to 90, what is it, 90... It was 95% accurate mm. uh, in comparison to the Dexter scanning. So I've got 5% yeah. anyway. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's 5% that way. <laughs> so what will happen is, if when you stand on it, it'll yeah. take your weight to stand still. Your thumb's on there, like that's it, that's it. So you hold it like this, so that this isn't touching your body. So that's okay. fine. And then, yeah, so it just starts the process. And that's it. That's it quick. <laughs> that's cool. So, so yeah, so obviously... Oh, I'm terrified. <laughs> <laughs> it's, um, yeah, so let's just print this out. So then, because the screen is tiny, so yeah. I'll print it out and I'll talk you through the report. Okay, yeah. so, so this is the report that you get. I'll email you a copy of this so you have a, a copy by email also. Yeah. Okay, so if we start from the top, specifically yeah. body fat percentage. Mm -hmm. um, so within this is telling you that you're at a 14. 14.6, wow, that's better than I'd imagined. Yeah. I thought I'd be like 21. Right, okay, well there you go. <laughs> <Yay>. <laughs> I'll carry yeah, on yeah, with yeah. the bold wide then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, then it gives you a segmental lean analysis. Mm -hmm. um, so the breakdown of muscle within your body, yeah. okay? And it, uh, this is your left and this being your right, okay? Mm -hmm. For muscle, you're in the over section, which is fantastic, which means you're really strong. 
Okay. So where does it say where I am? So I'm. So so, so this is your value here, okay. thirty point two, yeah? yeah. And these are percentages. So okay, if, basically, if we were comparing you against somebody your height, mm. a female of your height, mm. where you see a hundred percent being the average, yeah. you're at a hundred and thirty something. Okay. Mm. Based on the metabolic rate, so they're obviously the, the, the least amount of calories that you would have. That's if you're just lying around the house doing nothing. That's a decent or, amount. I'm yeah. I'm <laughs> obviously, it's, it's, it, it, the more muscle you have, the, the higher, higher this is. Yeah. Uh, where this is very important is that, obviously, based on your activity levels, that you yeah. can work out then how much yeah. you should, your daily oh, actually, calorific yeah, intake should be. Yeah. So, I mean, how often are you training? Uh, daily. Yeah, so... Basically, yeah, you'll be at the athlete level where you so you'll be multiplying that by 1.9. Okay. But that's the total amount of calories you would have okay. daily. That's a good that is, that is, that's plenty there. This is all good yeah, news. Yeah. I'm so. <laughs> right. Oh my goodness! So the test is done. I know my body fat and my weight. I am really surprised. Now you might be watching this thinking, "Duh, Sarah, duh," but I think. I can't tell you how much I wasn't lying. I was really expecting my body fat to be 23, 21%. And I think that is because I've been using such inaccurate scales in the past when I did measure. I remember I had a scale that said it told you your body fat and it would tell me mine was like 31%. And I knew that was wrong um, because when I'd even lost weight or gotten fitter, it wouldn't change at all. So it's really good to have an accurate measurement and know where I am. I can't believe that. I'm surprised that I'm 62.6 kg as well. To be honest, I was basically naked in there, so that might be why. Normally I'll weigh myself with clothes on. I am happy and relieved that I have not been catfishing you guys for the last, I don't know, two years? Is it almost two years? Maybe almost three years. I'm happy with my result. Check out the link in the description um, to see how you can sign up for your chance to win 2,000 pounds. So basically you go, you get an assessment done and then you get another assessment done after about 90 days and whoever loses the most body fat and while maintaining or gaining muscle mass, I don't know how they, exactly they work it out, but you can win £2,000 and I think that's a really good motivation technique. What I also love so much is how they tell you your visceral body fat because I think that that is really relevant and in a world where we can be obsessed with the looks and how our genes fit and stuff, actually knowing what's going on inside our bodies and knowing how uh, having too high body visceral fat can increase your risk of certain illnesses like diabetes that can be really motivating too so yeah definitely check these guys out i'll put the links like everywhere and you can book your consultation and find out where you're at i'm so glad i did this for like a life thing it's just great i just i feel like i'll look back on this like that was where i was at and now this is where i'm at and i love how accurate it is um so yeah thank you body composition fitness for having me okay i will see you guys in my next vlog video whatever if you like this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up leave me a comment letting me know what you think and subscribe for more videos don't forget to join me on instagram and check out my blog too i will see you guys next time Bye.